Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to start addition and subtraction of decimal fraction. If you want, you can go and check the previous videos of the chapter decimal, where I've explained the basic concepts of decimal and the exercise of the chapter decimal. Now we are going to start addition of decimal and subtraction of decimal. So let's get started with the first question. Arrange the following decimal fractions in columns and then add. So here are the decimals that are already given. You have to first arrange the decimals in columns. Okay, that means you have to arrange the numbers column wise and then you have to add. So in case of addition, what you have to do, whatever the numbers are given one by one, just as it is, you have to write down. Okay, first is 12.4125. Okay. 12.4125 just write down and remember one thing whenever you are going to add or subtract the decimals okay where the decimal point is present you have to give one space after each and every number okay so one two little bit space then two decimal point four one two five okay after that one twenty four point one two five just write down as it is one twenty four so once tens then 100 so 124.125 just write down 125 but but here you can see that above this this is written after the decimal point 4125 four numbers are there right 1 2 3 4 four numbers are there but just after that 1 2 5 three numbers are there okay so for that you have to give one zero okay to the extreme right to the extreme right not before okay to extreme right Next is 1.241, just write down 1.241, again it is 3 numbers, again this decimal is having 3 numbers after the decimal point, so you have to give 1, 0, okay, and you have to remember one thing that the decimal point should be arranged one after another, okay, decimal point should not be arranged here and there, okay, right after the first decimal point you have to give the next one and so on, okay. Now just add 5 plus 0 plus 0 that is 5, 2 plus 5 plus 1 that is 8, 1 plus 2 plus 4 that is 7, 4 plus 1 plus 2 that is 7, then decimal point comes, then 2 plus 4 plus 1 7, 1 plus 2 3 and 1 down. Okay, So the answer is 137.7785. Move on to the next question, question number B. Okay, So here also you have to arrange, arrange the decimals. So first 122.23, write down 122.23, then 100.365, write down. So 100.365, just write down 365, okay. Now here you can see that after the decimal point there are three numbers, 365, three numbers. And here the first decimal is having two numbers after the decimal point. So here you have to give one zero for that, okay. Next. 11.201 just write down 11.201 next is 1.1102 write down 1.1102 so last decimal is having four numbers after the decimal point right last decimal is having four numbers after the decimal point but this is having three this is having three and this is having two so you have to give two zeros for this you have to give one zero you have to give one zero but extreme right you have to add the zeros to the extreme right okay now let's add 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 that is 2 0 plus 5 plus 1 plus 0 that is 6 3 plus 6 plus 0 plus 1 that is 10 10 so 0 down 1 will be carried forward to the next column so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 that is 9 okay give the decimal point wherever it is okay that should be in the particular place okay next 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 that is 4 2 plus 0 plus 1 that is 3 1 plus 1 that is 2 so 234.9062 is the answer question number c so first you have to arrange all the numbers all the decimals so first is 0 0.25 write down 0 0.25 then 0 0.791 write down 0 0.791 so in this decimal after the decimal point three numbers are there but in this decimal after the decimal point there are two numbers so you have to give one zero for that okay to the extreme right next is 1.629 write down 1.629 now add 0 plus 1 plus 9 that is 10 
So 0 down, 1 will be carried forward to the next column. So 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 2 that is 17. Okay. So 7 down, 1 will be carried forward to the next column. 1 plus 2 plus 7 plus 6 that is 16. So 6 down, 1 will be carried forward to the next column. So 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 that will make up 2. So 2.670 is the answer. Move on to the next set of questions that is arrange the following decimal fractions in columns and then subtract. Now you have to do the subtraction. So we are going to learn the subtraction of decimal now. Okay. So first question 0.083 from 0.546. Now first you have to arrange the decimal. Now in case of subtraction you have to write down the decimal first which is after the word from. So in this question which is the number which is written after the word from 0.546 so 0.546 will come first okay and then you will write the next the next decimal that is 0.083 okay write down 0.083 now do the subtraction 6 minus 3 3 4 minus 8 4 is smaller than 8 so you have to borrow 1 from the previous column to make the 4 into 14 so 14 minus 8 that is 6 Okay, now you have borrowed. Already you have taken away 1 from this column. So, so 5 will become 4 now. Okay, you have taken 1 from this column. So, 5 will become 4. So, 4 minus 0, 4. Give the decimal point 0 minus 0, 0. Okay, so the answer is 0 0.463. Next, question number B. 0 0.4785 from 2.32. Now, in case of subtraction, what I have said that the number, the decimal, which is written after the word from that you have to write first so in this question what is the number what is the decimal that is written after the word from 2.32 just write down 2.32 and then you have to write down the next next decimal 0 0.4785 write down 0 0.4785 now we can see that this decimal is having four numbers after the decimal point and this decimal is having two numbers after the decimal point so in this number you have to put two zeros the extreme right okay as you can see that two zeros we have added two zeros to the extreme right now let's do the subtraction now here zero minus five so zero is less than five so you have to borrow one from the previous column to make zero into ten so ten minus five five so here it is also zero but zero minus eight we cannot subtract so you have to borrow again one from the previous column to make the zero ten but in this column we have already taken one to the next column to make this 0 10 so we have already taken 1 from this column so 10 will become 9 now so 9 minus 8 1 okay so from this column we have already taken 1 to make this 0 10 so now the 2 will become 1 but 1 is smaller than 7 so we cannot subtract so that's why you have to borrow 1 again from the previous column to make this one 11 now 11 is greater than 7 so we can subtract so 11 minus 7 4 okay now we have already taken 1 from this column to make this 1 11 so now 3 will become 2 but 2 is smaller than 4 so we cannot subtract so again we have to borrow 1 from the previous column to make this 2 into 12 so 12 minus 4 that is 8 give the decimal point now here in this column we have taken already 1 to make 2 into 12 so 2 will become now 1. 1 minus 0, 1. So 1.8415 is the answer. Move on to the next question. Question number C. 7.205 from 17.205. So again you have to arrange the decimals first. So which number will come first? The number which is written after the word from. Okay. That will come first. So here 17.205 is written after the word from. So it will come first. Then you have to just write down the next number that is 7.205 just write down 7.205 and just do the subtraction 5 minus 5 0 0 minus 0 0 2 minus 2 0 give the decimal point 7 minus 7 0 1 minus 0 that is 1 so 10.000 or 10 is the answer so that's it for today in the next video we will continue doing the exercise of addition and subtraction of decimal fractions so see you in the next video till then take care bye bye and thank you for watching.